Bruce, how, how happy were you to see that for X today? Well, it was great. Uh, and he got, you know, one coach. Uh, first, I, I got to compliment Dejuan uh, for his text message. And um, just to, as a freshman, that to, you know, say, hey, Pearson should start for me. I mean, it's unbelievable. Um, shows his, his character, his selflessness, shows um, how much he cares and respects Pearson. And, you know, when I, I saw that, I just, I, the other coaches and, um, you know, we just, it's, you know, it, that, that was really important. And Pearson obviously did some really good things for us. So that, that was positive too for him. He had took advantage of his opportunity. But, you know, Coach Henderson talked since we got back from Oklahoma State just about not letting your, your teammates down, be, be special. Just don't be okay, be special. And I thought, you know, X had the special first half. Uh, you know, some of them were great shots, but, you know, he was in a heat check and uh, he made them. It, you know, it's a great finish for him for his Bramlage career. Uh, you know, didn't make many in the second half, but, uh, you know, unbelievable first half, which got us the lead. Uh, you know, and, and you know, it's, it's just good to get a win for that. And, and then Levi was, uh, he had his 11 on the play hard, which is, uh, you know, that's a lot. So great energy by him. And, and Solomon Young is really good. Uh, Condit is really good. They pull so hard. And, uh, you know, we we're fortunate. Obviously, Steve, they got a bunch of guys hurt. And, uh, you know, they're just trying to survive. But, uh, you know, we've had our own issues and problems. And I just, all I could worry about is us and trying to get a win. So it's, uh, it's good for the seniors. Pearson, I feel bad for Mac. Because he just, you know, foul trouble. But he's been pretty good in Kansas City, so maybe he'll get second life there. And then Xavier, obviously. And then the managers, too. Um, got four managers, Colin and, and Reagan and Kyle and, and John. All have done a great job for us and appreciate all of them. And they'll, you know, they've got great memories of their last game in Bramlage. Just how trying has this season been for you? And then contrast the last 10 games to the emotions you feel right now? I'm just relieved, to be honest, and happy for them. And it, it, it's hard because every day, you know, you, you got to just keep trying to motivate them and think of things. And, I, you know, I, I really appreciate Coach Henderson because I'll, I'll be honest, after Oklahoma State, I, I, was, I was out of energy, you know, and, and it's hard. You get back late, you just – because we had we've been we played hard the last few games and we gave ourselves a chance but we just couldn't get over the hump. I thought we played hard again today. We had to go to zone because of the foul trouble. Um, but I, I had Coach Anderson, since we got back and Pearson can tell you, he just he got after him. He was pretty motivated and that that helps me, you know, because you know, Del Harris, the old coach, one time asked me who brings energy to practice, and he said if it's you every day, your team is in trouble. And, and, you know, as of late, I've had to do that. And it just, just kind of drains you on a day-to-day -day basis. And then secondly, what, what was clicking for X in that first half? I mean, what? He, he just got in that zone. I, I mean, he obviously ready, um, you know, hit that first one. It was a bomb. Um, got a couple other ones, you know, the, you know where he just he – got, he got going. He got he get guys getting that, you know, special players getting that feeling. And – um, you'd think everything's going in, and, and for a stretch there, they all did go in, there's no doubt. Um, second half, not quite as easy, but he had, he had probably some better looks, to be honest, in the second half. And, but we, and we finally got a lob dunk for him, which is, I don't know if that's, that's been since maybe, I, he might remember, but it's probably, it seems like a long time since that happened. Pearson, can you just tell us how neat of a moment it was to start and play that well today? Yeah, you know, like Coach said, uh, it's just a true testament to who, who Dejuan is as a person. Uh, you know, I, I had no idea that, that he was going to do that. He, he'd showed me a text that he'd sent to Coach, and he was like, I'm, I'm going to help you out. I said, you know, we're, we're going to just win this game, and, and then that'll be really special. And so for him to do that and be that unselfish uh, just shows his true character and who he is and made it a special day for all of us seniors. Bruce, I hate to put you on the spot here, but Pearson looked really good today. Do you regret? And, do you regret and, you not know, playing him more this year? The funny thing is, we had such foul trouble, um, you know. And and I've always said this: He comes every day, whatever we ask. He, you know, he could play guard one day. He could play. And tonight, 
in the zone, Antonio, we were in such bad foul trouble. He said, I don't know the five in the zone. So Pearson goes, I got it. I got it. So he played five in the zone. And, um, you know, so he, he, you know, somebody asked a couple of weeks ago how involved he is. And he always is helping with the coming off the bench with the guys, telling them where to go and stuff like that. And, you know, it's, it's a lot testament to his character, how much K-State basketball means to him. And he came to me before practice Thursday, before days one did that, just said, anything I can do, coach, I just want to help. And, and you know, I just, I really appreciated that. Um, and I'm glad we were able to reward him. And he, you know, he rewarded himself and um, had a nice, nice day for all these guys. Pearson, that very first play of the game where you, you got on the dunk and it was the back door, was that a play call or was that just something where Mac saw you kind of getting up? Uh, it was a little bit of a broken play. Yeah, we actually <laughs> had a, we were going to let Mac go try to get a dunk, a fake handoff, but they boggled it up and then Mac picked it up and he made a great cut and he jumped higher than he's ever jumped in his life, I've got to believe. Can you take me through that, Pearson, about like how much that means to you to hear, be on senior day and to score the first points of the game on a dunk in front of all these people who are here to see you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's truly special. And uh, I just I can't thank Coach enough for, for giving me that opportunity five years ago uh, at 165 pounds. Uh, and now I'm out here, you know, I think I led in rebounds for our team for the game. Uh, so so to, to put some weight on over the years and, and him to have trust in me and then obviously Mac making a great pass uh, was a truly special moment. And I, I think it kick-started a good first half for us. <laughs> Uh, for coach and then the players, and I fully understand this may be a dumb question, but what is the goal in Kansas City next week for you guys? Well, I just told them you never know. And, uh, you know, just you know, all you worry about is to get the first one, and then you get a chance to play a second one. And um, I told them about one of our Illinois teams, actually, team Coach Fraser was on, and we didn't have a very good year. A lot of struggles. We went there, finally got a win. Coach Fraser was in the play-in game. He was on the scores table, and I had to pull him down. And... Uh, you know, but it kind of showed what he's about and how much it meant to him. And then we went and beat uh, Purdue, and then we beat somebody else, got to the championship the fourth game. We ran out of gas. But, you know, anything can happen. You just watched the Valley yesterday. Northern Iowa beat Drake by 20 at Drake, and then Drake beats them in St. Louis. So, um, you know, it is all we can worry about. It's either going to be TCU or Oklahoma. Right now, TCU is winning uh, and just getting ready for that. This is for all of you guys. Is how, how much does today's win mean going into the tournament? I mean, does it mean much other than just getting a win, or do you feel like this does give you the kind of momentum you would want? Definitely means something for us right now, just to get one back in the uh, winning column for us, uh, just to get that momentum going, uh, get some uh, good energy, positive vibes that we have in the locker room right now today. Uh, just keep that going right now for us, and hopefully we can get uh, four in a row. Yeah, I mean, he said it as best as you can. Uh, it's just super special, obviously, for this group of seniors, but I hope the younger guys understand, you know, how special that is to have that moment and continue to appreciate that and help the seniors, you know, the next year. Um, and then when it's their time, I hope those younger guys, you know, understand how, how big of a moment that is to, to leave Bramlage on a note like this. So, I, you know, I think it's a real positive, you know, instead of just like, oh, drudgery, we got another one now. You feel good about it, and and you feel good about yourself. And you know, we whether it's TCU, who both games were very close, or Oklahoma, we split both. You know, split them. You know, you just got to come to play. So I, I also I thought our guard Cardi and Mike, you know, they you know obviously it was Xavier's special night, Pearson special night, but Cardi and Mike had two pretty good floor games for the both of them, and five for seven, five for nine, Cardi five assists, two turnovers. Uh, you know, it's, and and uh, Mike two assists, no turnovers, couple steals, and so that you know they we took care of the ball. We had a few turnovers down the stretch, got a little sloppy, and I thought David was casual at the start, but he got better. It, it got us, it helped us in that little run when we had the foul trouble. Actually, Cardi asked out, and uh, we had a nice run to finish the half. X, that was probably the most aggressive we've seen you in a while. Was that just senior day? You wanted to play well really bad? Uh, just just that and just wanting to get in a win, you know, uh, like Pearson talked about, not leaving out here on an L. I uh, just want to do everything for my ball club just to get a W, and I feel like I did a good job going out there today helping us get the W. And, and Bruce, I wanted to ask, with given just how the season has gone, what do you think it says about Xavier that he would put so much into this game on the final well, night here? Well, you know, I, again, I've said he's a, a quality young man, and, and – uh, you know, when you look at the, the, his statistics, and, and that's not what it's all about, but you, you do want to leave a legacy. You come here, you work hard, you want to leave a legacy. And, you know, to be in the 
what top 10 scoring rebounds, uh, steals, uh, three points made, uh, 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 you know, game started, all that stuff, plus an elite eight that both these guys were a part of, and, and also a, a Big 12 championship, which are very, very hard to come by. Uh, and, you know, the Jayhawks got another one, but, uh, you know, we, we've had two since we've been here, and, and they were a major part of that. So, uh, you know, I, I, I hope they, you know, it, it says a lot about them, what they're about, and, and the legacy they can, they've left. X, at what point did you realize in that first half that you were, you were red hot? Probably have to like the second shot. <laughs> first one was a bomb. Yeah. I knew it was over after you got that one. <laughs> they were going up. Is there a moment, X, that stands out to you today from all the senior day stuff that, that really will stick with you? Uh, just the moments I share with all my uh, teammates, you know. Uh, they made it special for me, especially me and PJ. <clears throat> Being here so long, uh, just, just all today, I remember the most about it all, uh, and just all the memories that I made in Bramage. X, kind of what was, what was going through your mind when you uh, – you know, right before you walked off the court and you, you, you know, kissed, kissed it there at center court? Uh, just everything, like I said again, everything. I've uh, been through here, through a lot, roller coaster up and down. I've uh, been through here, like Coach said, we've been through Elite Eight. We've been through a uh, Big 12 championship. Um, we did a lot of things here in our time here, me and PJ as well, and a lot of guys in the locker room. So I uh, just reflected about everything that I've been through and, and on the banners that we had put up there. I was just looking up at those, and it just, it just meant a lot to me, and it was a surreal moment. Bruce, is the plan for you to, to now go and watch the rest of the Oklahoma TCU game? or what's... Yeah, I, I mean, definitely, you know, by the time we get out of here, it'll probably be second half. But, uh, you know, see it. And then, you know, it, our coaches do a great job. We played both of them. We played them, you know, they've been pretty, like every most of the games in our league, we've been close. Um, you know, we're just, we're going to have to play. We got to guard. If we play this hard, like we played the last week, 10 days, and, and, you know, and, and defend like we have. Um, obviously, it helps to make a few shots, but um, I think we we can compete now. You know, hopefully, good mindset, worried about the right things, focused on the right things, and maybe some good things will happen. Do you see yourself playing Pearson more in Kansas City after today? I, I there's no. I think there's no doubt. Well, he'll get a shot. You know, so I, I at one point I just I could see he was dying trying to run down the court. <laughs> Don't have that conditioning. And I said, Coach, we got to get him high. I think he had gone six, seven straight minutes. And shoot, he might not go that long all year. So in practice. But uh, yeah. Those first it, five minutes are but uh, a lot of adrenaline. And, you know, yeah, that's them. for sure. So, anything else? And we'll get Dejuan up here and you can talk about the next. Xavier, you've been looking for that redemption moment. You've kind of struggled shooting the ball this year. But if, if was today it for kind of uh, redeeming the type of player that you are? Uh, definitely. You know, I just had a, a good feel out there. Like you said, I was just red hot today. Uh, had a good feel for it all. Had a good shoot around this morning and last night. Um, so I had to go out and, and brown in the right way. So I feel like I did that. X, you leave here with such a impression on this on this program. Look, looking forward, passing the torch on to younger guys. What do you see for this program going forward? Uh, a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, especially the guys that just walked up here like Dejuan. Uh, seeing him, having him under my wing. Uh, he's just a hard worker. He's a go-getter. He's that dog that um, that our, our program has been looking for and um, build, been building around. So uh, for guys like him next year to step up and um, be ready to go and see and learn from this year as well, uh, it's going to be big time for them. Dejuan, coach was just telling us about the, the text you sent him to, to have Pearson start in your place. Just when, when did you kind of get that idea and what all went into that? Um. A couple of days ago, once when I heard it was uh, senior night, I just normally when you, you they start the scenes, well, like in high school they start the scenes, and then I went to ask PJ, do they start? And he was like, no, they might not start off for. He was like, I just hope to play. So then it was the day, but the day I asked him, was, we was in practice, and Coach Henderson just made it, made it, made everybody tell everybody that it's about um, the seniors. Let's get a win for the seniors, and that just really made me made, ask him. I think he deserved to, deserve to play because he come every day in practice. Don't complain. Go hard every day. You need someone you can talk to off the court, on and off the court. X, 
X, tell me uh, what PJ means to you. It seems like you guys always been close. Oh, uh, that's, that's another brother to me, you know. Uh, me and him been through the wars. We've been through everything here. Uh, he's been here one more year than me, of course, but uh, feels like I've just been here with him through it all. Uh, he means so much to me, man. We we talk, we do everything together. Uh, so just just to have this last game, this special moment with him is, is, is very important to me, and I know it's important to him. And uh, I'm glad we uh, was able to get the W. And then, Pearson, same thing to you but about X. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're playing that video b before the senior night ceremony, and I mean, it's true. I X is is my brother, and it's not going to matter, you know, down the road in life. You know, always going to call me, always going to talk, uh, whatever he needs, and you know, I'm just really excited for his future, and really excited that tonight, you know, his his hard work has paid off, and obviously it, it has in in championships and NCAA tournament runs, but. Uh, just, just to keep being that leader that he is, uh, and being vocal, especially you know when you're not hitting your expectations for the year, to stay with it. I mean, that just shows his perseverance and his character. Uh, and I'm just really happy he had a special night to end it. And then uh, for whoever is more hyped about it, that Cardi step back where he, when he dropped number 34. What did you guys think of that? Step back, James Harden. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was pretty hyped on the bench when he got that dunk. I seen it coming as soon as he caught the called at the uh, high post. Seen him got the baseline. It was pretty cool. Seen him score six. Made some buckets. When you talked about the impact the guys on the other side of you have had on you. What what have these seniors and Mac included meant to you? Uh, they meant everything about the program. You come here, you knew once buried and them left. You know, these are the guys who had to step up, and these are the guys that I had to learn from. And I learned a lot from them, even though we didn't have a season that we planned. They um, helped me with a lot, a lot of things off the court and basketball. So, yeah. Thanks, you Um, I feel like I have pretty good shoot arounds all the time, though. But today, I mean, today and the last night, uh, felt like I was shooting about 85% on a day. So uh, it just felt pretty good out there. And I know, it's like I said, again, this is my last time in Brownmans, uh last time to get a chance to do that. And I went out there with a bang. Xavier said that you're, you're that dog that they've been looking for. Um, how are you going to carry on this experience from this season throughout your career? Um, take what I learned from them and keep playing the same way I played. That got me here. Stand in the gym. First full year for you in Bramlage. I mean, what, what did you think of uh, Bramlage in general and just playing for K State? Uh, it's a great feeling. A lot of people from where I'm from don't get a chance to do this. I get text messages all the time. People telling me they wish they was in my position. So it's just. Great chance, great um, opportunity to get to play here in Brownlich. You know, you watch it on TV as you're young, so it's a great, great opportunity. Great opportunity to play with them, too. Yeah. Yes, I think we got a chance, too. I think we had a chance this year, it just didn't go right. You know, but I think we got a chance next year, too. As long as we just play, play as an underdog, had an underdog mentality, we can do it. Anything possible. Anything else for these guys? Daquan Bruce recently mentioned that you're a big chip guy. What's your favorite friendship? I don't even eat chips. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I, I eat chips sometimes. But chip with the dip. I barely eat chips. But if I had to pick a favorite to eat some chips, it would be. Hmm? I don't know. Probably some Doritos. I'm not sure. It is really good. Maybe he was talking. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Anything else? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.